doing that, it's almost welded some of the pins there. So you could damage your bike really badly if you're not careful. Also, really be careful with wiring it because if you put the wrong wires the wrong way, uh, you could have a, sit about a really bad time. But just to make sure the bike's okay, turn it back on. Sometimes you have to disconnect the battery and reattach it. The sensors are short like that. Safety feature. Okay, and plug it back in. And we're okay. <laughs> Luckily. And again, let's make sure the other batteries are working okay. So let's just turn it off for a sec. That battery disconnected now. This one on top. Battery's on, and that's also working fine. Um, another thing I probably would do is not have the internal one and the external one massively different in, in power. So say that your middle internal one's nearly dead and the top one fully charged or vice versa. Mm, I don't know how well that would go. Right now, the top one's fully charged and the internal one's down one bar, let's see. What happens when I close the bike? So just close it. Seems fine. And switch off the top, top, top one. Battery's gone down one bar. Turn it back on. Battery goes up one bar. So seems like it's fine, but I wouldn't risk by having it too dissimilar power wise. Just to avoid any major voltage jumps from one batch to the other. Yeah. Yeah, a bit more what it looks like in the daylight. It's pretty well on there. Thank you. 